Hi, my name's David Workman. I have the privilege of being one of the authors of uh, the book, We Are Puget Sound. So as more and more people embraced this book and brought it to life, uh, it was more than Brian and I ever imagined it might be. It was everything we hoped for and so much more. And uh, one, one thing we really appreciate is that the net uh, proceeds from the book are going to uh, help uh, educate people and involve people in protecting the sound. Uh, all of our uh, ecosystem that is part of our lives. Welcome here to the Billy Frank uh, Nisqually National Wildlife Refuge. It's an amazing place and uh, this river and this delta are the uh, least disturbed of the large uh, estuaries on Puget Sound. This is a special place uh, for many reasons, but one of them is the, the person for whom it has been uh, named, and that's Billy Frank Jr. Billy was a tribal fisherman, a member of the Nisqually tribe. He was a fisherman. Uh, he worked hard and fought hard to be sure that uh, our Native American fishing rights were respected and honored and supported, and they prevailed. Uh, Billy was, became a tribal elder of the Nisqually tribe, and he was for many years the chairman of the Northwest Indian Fisheries Commission. He was a national leader and a state leader, uh, and actually a worldwide leader in protecting the environment, protecting Puget Sound and our waters and our lands and uh, fish. So Billy is an important part of this location. My first memories of this place go back to when my daughters were little and we would come out here and walk uh, around the, the dikes what, that then existed here at the refuge. And we would watch the birds and the other animals and see what we could see and what we could count. And uh, we just had good times here. And then they would come out with their school classes and uh, youth groups and uh, it was part of their lives. It's been part of my life. Uh, and it's just a, a wonderful place to spend an hour here watching the animals, watching the birds and see what they have to say to us.